Hello everyone, the Mr. Trails here. So the devs did something weird. They updated the game early. Maybe they are taking a day off for Groundhog Day or something. But since the patch came early, I've already been able to test everything and how it affects Recycle. And we've been told these interactions are unlikely to change in the near future. So let's go over what does and doesn't affect the Recycle cell. Drop a like for me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, let's get into it. So first, let's define how I'm categorizing these things. What the main thing we are looking at here is if you are hitting a different part than the one you have built your stacks on, is the cell going to reset? So something will be in the resets category if it does reset when you hit a different part. And something will be in the doesn't reset category if it doesn't reset when you hit a different part. And then when it comes to things that explode, I'll go over those on a case by case basis. So a bit of a rule of thumb for you is if it does stagger damage or wound damage, then it should affect recycle. So this includes every main weapon hit as well as most of the weapon specials. Those include Reaper's Dance, Insatiable Dance, all of the Axe Specials, all Ardent Cyclone Hits and Avenging Overdrive Parries, Reckless Leap from Pike, and the main hits from Karma Breaker and Titan's Crash. And the other effects that come with Stagger Damage are the Discipline Omnicell, Bastion Omnicell, Pangar, Alira, and Fenror unique effects. In addition to these, there are also several other things that can reset your recycle. The Tempest and Revenant Omnicells will reset recycle, as well as Adamant Bolt, and the Twin Suns with their special dodge. The Malkarian, Torgadoro, and Thrax legendary abilities also reset your cycle, and that's going to be in terms of the main things on your build that do. But I found a couple of things in Escalation so far that do reset your cycle as well. One of these is the Thunderous Mantle Amp, and I would assume the Void Mantle Amp does as well. Here, even if you hit the same part, it will explode and do damage to other parts, so it will reset your recycle. And quite unfortunately, the Elder Shields, if you hit those, that will also reset your recycle. This is kind of BS, because it's not actually the behemoth that you're hitting, and on certain weapons, such as sword and hammer, it can be really easy to inadvertently hit these. But this is everything that I have found so far that does reset recycle if you hit a different part. But do note that I have not tested the legendary amps from Radiant Escalation yet mainly because I just didn't get them. Feel free to screenshot this or something for reference. Next up, we have a quick category here, and it's the kind of resets category. So as to say it both does and doesn't affect it. The Chainblade's Cruel Rift Strike special, when you go to use your special and hit the behemoth with it, then it will reset your stacks of recycle. But the actual DOT portion and explosion of it won't reset your recycle. So like, the majority of its damage won't be resetting recycle, but in order to get the most out of this uh, special, you do have to focus multiple different parts. And the act of doing so will be resetting your recycle. And then I also put the Rezakiri unique effect in this category, because it always should hit the same part that you just hit, but if for some reason it just hits somewhere random on the behemoth instead, then it would reset your recycle. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do that, I'm pretty sure it should 100% of the time hit the same part, but I never really paid attention to that so I'm not sure. But something else to note about the Resicure Unique Effect is when it does proc on the same part, it will give you an additional stack of Recycle, which makes me kind of fearful for some trial runs that might end up needing to grind for a Resicure proc for Recycle. Your crits would likely matter more anyway, but you can't really underestimate getting extra damage early. But then we have the Doesn't Reset category, and this is basically everything else. All of the other, like, special effect unique effects, like Frostwolf, Charog, Phalanx, Valamir, Savit, and Karabak UE all do not reset recycle. Curiously, the Urska legendary ability and the Iceborne Omnicell don't reset the stacks, when everything else of their categories do. And then thankfully, all of the lanterns now will not affect your stacks. And much of the weapon special effect damage will not be resetting things either. For Strikers, the Karma Breaker duration over time damage, and the Titan's Crash splash damage, as well as the Surge ability won't reset anything. For hammers, the Aether Slams, Evasive Blast, Hammer Jump, and all of the Molten Edict versions of these will not reset. Axe's Volatile Axe Core mod won't reset it, and neither will Repeater's Saboteur's Grip. And the Sword's Avenging and Valiant Overdrive Slicer damage won't reset it, as well as the Blade Surge Hold Heavy combo. And then we get to where things you might think would reset it, but don't. Resounding Echo on Sword, both with and without Charged Sword Focus, doesn't reset it, which is like, okay, you 
can't really control where that's hitting. But the other things here are weapon specials, where you really can control where they're going. Hammer's concussive salvo doesn't reset, but, you know, it does hit several parts, so okay. The pike's concussive payload, though, you directly aim that at one part, and it doesn't matter what that part is, I guess, because wherever you hit, it won't reset recycle. Similarly, the god hand beam will not reset recycle, when it actually does, like, continue to give you berserker stacks, so I find that interesting. And then we get the ones that really don't make sense. The twin sun's mag bombs, you intentionally shoot multiple different parts, and it won't reset your recycle. Which is like, fine, twin sun's players suffer enough from bad DPS as it is, so let them have this one. But this doesn't explain why every main repeater special doesn't reset your recycle. The most egregious one would be the marksman chamber, where you're specifically hitting one singular part, and you can decide to mark some other part, and it won't reset recycle. And this one might actually be relevant to some extent, uh, mainly in like a squad speedrun. Like one of the repeater players marks a different part for the pike player to start wounding, or even in solos really. If you know the part is going to break without the mark, you can go and mark something else if you want to, and then come back to the mark once that other part is broken. The main reason you would do so is for like Tactician's Magazine. If your mark is ready and you're at zero ammo, you might as well fire your mark at a different part and then reload so you can have the duration reset sooner. Giga brain stuff here, but it could be relevant, so that's why I'm saying it. And then for Salvo and Full Bore Chamber, I am fine with those not resetting Recycle because in general they aren't quite as good as Marksman Chamber, so they might as well have a reason to be better DPS-wise than Marksman Chamber if Marksman Chamber was ever to change. But those are the main build and weapon things that won't be affecting the Recycle stacks. Other than those, there's just some miscellaneous things that I recorded that doesn't reset your stacks. Hitting Boreas minions, interestingly, isn't affecting stacks, as well as hitting Shroud orbs. So I would assume that hitting any object created by a behemoth doesn't count toward your recycle stacks. So this should include anything like the Radiant Prisms, the Stormclaw, like fences stuff, the Nezaga Shock Spires, though I didn't outright test those, so I'm not putting them on here. And then all of the other Escalation Amps and Passives that I have tested did not reset your stacks. This includes the Zai's Revolver Passive, Void Blast, the Elemental Summoner's Damaging Orbs, Shadow Dodge, Virulent impact, Eidolons, and the Hotshot Amp. So there you go, that's everything I have tested and confirmed doesn't reset your recycle stacks when hitting a different part. So as far as what does reset it, it is quite intuitive. Almost everything that resets it either does stagger damage or wound damage, or is a main hit from like your weapon or Omnicell. As far as what doesn't reset it, that's a little more ambiguous. Again, with the main questionable ones being Concussive Payload, God Hand Beam, and then like the repeater specials. So can I recommend this cell now? Absolutely. I would say casually I'd limit it to a plus three, especially on the slower weapons like sword, axe, and hammer. And in general, if you're really not trying to sweat too hard, then a plus three, it's a low risk because wasting just a plus three is not that big of a deal. But it's a really high reward if you do end up focusing pretty well because 30% damage is quite good. On several weapons, your main build decision will come down to like a three recycle, three overpower, or three three recycle, three berserker situation, which would be 50% damage, and if you lost your stacks, you'd get them back rather quickly, especially on some weapons. So I'd say if you're pretty casual about what you're doing, a plus three will be quite acceptable. But if you're doing a lot of speedruns, or you're playing repeaters, or both, then you are definitely going to want a plus six recycle. Just keep in mind that if you are speedrunning, then making sure you aren't losing stacks of recycle is going to be massively important to your final time. But that is basically going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, drop a like for me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, consider buying some merch from the MrTrails.store, or supporting me with a channel membership here on YouTube for 99 cents a month. But that'll be it for me. I have been Trevor, I go by the Mr. Trails, and I will catch you guys next time.